Oh yes, the Royal Palace in Myrtle Beach, home to some famous Dover Traflomatics which with impulse fixtures at with 23 floors that were well known for uh, let's just say being utter pieces of crap. If you guys haven't been watching videos of them and have been living under a rock, well, Here's a little bit of insight as to what these things were, and what were they were known for. Hell no, dude, I don't trust over to take me. Oh, oh, f They sound horrible, I know. Well, with how bad these were, I mean, as you can see, they made lots of horrible noises, and um, having ridden these elevators prior to starting YouTube, being I had some family that stayed here, these were also well known for having really long, crazy lines um, to get on them, and they would even have hired elevator operators during the summer. And in addition to that, they also, um, as you saw, they had the messed up controller, um, and they, and ThyssenKrupp gave these a, I guess you could say a band-aid in 2010, so they didn't make so much noise, but they still didn't run particularly that great, and they still had the messed up controller, and they were still nonetheless having problems and breaking a lot. So, with how bad these were, you would probably say, oh my gosh, these things need to be modernized. And I totally agree. I mean, and this is coming from someone who hates modernizations, but these badly need it. So, the last video that was taken of these elevators was in 2015, or 16, I believe, and so that's plenty of time for these to have been modded. So I did check TripAdvisor prior to when I c came here, and that's where the story behind this video begins. So here we are looking at reviews of the Palace Hotel in Myrtle Beach on TripAdvisor. And, uh, 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 look at this. There's a review mentioning new elevators that are all very fast, as you can see. And now there's some re revealing that they've been updated. See? Look at that. And if you go down, if you go down a little bit before these, look... See, there's reviews mentioning that they are redoing the elevators. Look at this. So, yeah. So, that all being said, um, I really hope you enjoy this video. And so, that all being said, we are here in Myrtle Beach at the Palace Hotel in March of 2019, the following video you're about to watch. So that all being said, let's go inside and see what they've done to them and who did what they done to them. Let's find that out right now. Enjoy the video, guys. We are in Myrtle Beach, folks, standing right outside of the Palace. Now, as you probably remember, this place was home to some Dover Death Trap elevators that Escalator Geek 881 has filmed. Well, according to TripAdvisor, something very big has happened to these. And so we're going to go inside, confirm it, see what they've done. And look at this. Twenty three. That's right, you guessed it. 
the famous elevators at the palace have been completely modernized. Going up to 23, and man, they are so much faster. And just listen to how quiet and smooth these are. They were installed in 1985 as Dover Traflomatic with Impulse, as we probably all know. But as you can see, Cavender modded them, and this was done in late 2017 to 2018. See? And let's get a look at this cab, as you can see. And to prove to you this is the palace, look at the doors in this elevator hallway up here. See? Welcome to the Palace Resort. And to prove to you once again, we all know this floor smells like chlorine. Well, this is the top 23rd floor, and there is your 22nd story hot tub. And that goes up to the roof. But yep, there you guys all have it. They've modded them. And... I typically don't get excited about mods, but these ones badly needed it. They were always breaking down constantly and getting people stuck. And, um, and yeah, they were breaking down a lot, getting people stuck. They ran like crap. And they had this glitch where on an intermediate floor, if you pushed up or down it would light both of them up and activate both of them so yeah i hate to say but these things badly needed the mod and this particular one was the death trap escalator geek 881 filmed you still got your dover door track there 23 back down to g hopefully a non-stop ride down but yeah these are fast Here's a view of the cab. Brand new cabs. They look very nice. We have Mr. Security watching us. I'm going to try to get a still photo of the buttons. G. Here on G. And we'll go back up to 23. But yeah, these are so fast and smooth. And listen to how quiet these are. Freaking believable considering how loud and obnoxious these are. I did actually ride these once before I started YouTube. I had a some family that stayed here. Let's ring the bell. Alright, I am going to get off at one and show you something. New door sensors, new cabs, new motors, controllers, new everything on these things. Nothing is left of the old Dovers. But yeah, I typically hate mods, but these elevators take the cake for badly needing one. And I'm glad to see this has finally happened. They've acted up for way too long. So yeah. Well, here we are on one. Anyways, we're going to hop off here. There it goes. But yeah, brand new call stations. They replaced the Braille's even, but you can tell they still have the Dover outer doors. Surprisingly, they're not as busy as I thought they were going to be. Yeah, here's a hallway with your fountain and your little atrium area. They got seating down there. But yeah, let me show you something. 
Remember how, yeah, these used to have this glitch where if you pushed either down, it would light up up, or if you put, or vice versa, if you pushed up, it would light down. Watch this. See? The issue is gone. No more Dover issue, but I don't blame Dover for how crappy these were. It was clearly the hotel didn't maintain these well at all. Hopefully these will be taken way better care of than the old Dovers were. Like that indicator. Down to G. G. These are probably the fastest in Myrtle Beach now that they've modded these. But yeah, Cavender Elevator, if you're watching this, you did a fantastic job with these elevators that badly needed a mod. And these go so fast and smooth now. back down to G. We'll end there. But yeah, again, very nice elevators. They badly needed this mod, and this, did, I approve of it. They did a great job. They go so fast and smooth and are quiet. I mean, you would have thought with how thin the shafts were, they, you know, they couldn't have made them quieter, but they did and did a great job. Going down what floor? Ground. Oh. Ground I'm just taking a video of these elevators. They were recently replaced. Uh -huh. Before they replaced them, they were horrible really? and made lots of noises oh, really? and broke yeah, all nice. the time. What? They're nice now. They, they are nice. now, yeah. And they go fast now, yeah, but but to prior go. they were slow, they mm -hmm. they got stuck a lot, you name it. Yeah. But yeah, they're very nice and fast now. And I typically like the old stuff more, but these actually needed to be replaced. Yeah, nothing worse than the slow elevator. Yeah. AKU, oh my gosh, they're so bad. They're the oldest things I think I've ever been in. Literally, in my whole dude, when it's been broken. Have a nice day, I'm gonna get off here. Thank you. And also brand new doors in the lobby too. There's your new call stations. New doors, new everything. And anyways, there it goes and that will be it. So what did you guys think of that modernization? Honestly, I think they did a great and fantastic job. These no longer, you can no longer hear the chimes on ev for the elevators no, on every floor. They're very fast, smooth, and quiet and efficient, which I didn't think was possible without destination dispatch, being there's only three elevators for 23 floors. But I think they did a good job. They go so much faster. They run so much better. The cabs are a lot nicer. You name it. I mean, these badly needed it, and I think they did a good job. And typically, I even when elevators need to be modded, I prefer that they restore them and fix them to their original glory. But, you know, these needed it. And um, unfortunately, I mean, I don't blame Dover at all for this, of course. I mean, the hotel neglected these over time so hopefully these get taken care of better and they continue to remain this way providing fast and efficient service for many years to come so that all being said i hope you enjoyed the video and that is going to be it